Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and I'm doing lifestyle videos and motherhood videos. If you hear the weird noises all around, it's my eight months old daughter on the floor and a dog barking at the growing at the cat. And today I'm coming with a very popular tag lately. It's a quarantine tag Q&A. I have been on YouTube for over two years and the dream of mine was always to do Q&A. But I'm a small channel, nobody asked me any questions, so I just went ahead and find my own. So I'm going to answer them. I didn't prepare myself very well for this video. I'm going completely live. I, well, I watched that tag before, so I know what to expect, but I didn't think what my answers are gonna be. So let's start the video. I have a screenshot of the questions where did that go here it is so let's start again question number one what country are you from so i live in canada but i am from poland that's where i was born and raised i came to canada in 2012. when did your country go on lockdown i think mid-march yeah, I think something like that, like most of the countries, that's when the things went bad. How long have you been in quarantine? I don't even know what day is it, I think month? I think so. How does quarantine make you feel? To be honest, like, pretty good. Like the first week was hard because even that I am a stay-at-home mom, I was never home. I was always out with my daughter, socializing, do cool things and now I have to stay home but I got used to my husband is home he used to work in Toronto now he's working from home and it's great I have extra hands to help he can look after the girls and I can focus on YouTube so it's perfect win-win for me I don't mind it if this was like that all the time except me going out and socialize whenever I want how much toilet roll do you have I have one big casco bag which I bought recently after they put the limits for like two per household or something like that and I have one small one which I bought previously before I bought the one from casco because I was scared I'm not gonna get the one from casco uh, what is your favorite quarantine snack uh, Chocolate. I eat a lot of chocolate. Quarantine or not, a whole chocolate a day must be. What is your favorite quarantine hobby? YouTube, definitely. I got crazy about that. What, what box set are you currently binging? I don't understand. What's box set? What is the last movie you watched? The Invisible Man? Yeah, that's what it was. Of course I had to watch like in three pieces because the girls won't let me watch in one at once. But it was good, I really enjoyed that. Is there anything you wish you had done before lockdown? Yes, cut my hair. My hairs are very long. And I'm shedding like crazy recently. I think it's due to me breastfeeding. Just look how long they are. So I wish I cut my hair. I'm gonna do it first thing after the lockdown is done. And also I wish I went for a drink. Oh, I am dying to have some nice, cool, fancy drink at the bar where it's loud and music and everything like that. I can't wait to go back to normality in this sense. Where do you want your next holiday to be? So beginning of February I went to Mexico and it was great. Then my next holiday, if I want it or not want it, it's gonna be in Poland. I am definitely due to go and introduce my younger daughter because my family haven't met her yet. So this is gonna be my first vacation. 
But if I could choose other vacation, other destination, hmm, maybe some islands because I like to just be all inclusive and lay down on the, by the pool and just enjoy myself. What is your most worn clothing during lockdown? <laughs> My sweatpants, I recently get rid of most of my clothes and now I don't have any and I was always wearing, wearing like the worst worn clothing ever so now I have only one or two and that's what I'm wearing all the time I don't wear clothes like that, like ever This is so pretty, I wish I would wear it more often Maybe I will, you know, I kind of pump myself up for this video and uh, where do I finish? What is the last place you visit before lockdown? Mexico. And it was cruel. I I wish I left the resort, but is it safe? Like can anybody from Mexico can tell me if it's safe to leave the resort in Cancun? I would like to know. Because it kind of I kind of missed that sense of being in another country you know i've been locked down in mexico over there by not leaving the result result what are you most thankful for in your life right now for my family definitely i appreciate them so much more and don't take them for granted and also health like now when so many people are dying from that awful awful virus you definitely appreciate your health more and i hope we all take care of ourselves so much more right now because we know we can just lose it just like that and it's done so yeah health and family that's what i appreciate most oh that's my little daughter taking my tripod hey you next question um how many times a day do you wash your hands? Huh? Every time after changing a diaper. So quite a lot. I have two kids in a diaper. What is something you want to start doing? I already start doing what I'm doing and that's more YouTube. But beside that, okay, I have to take her. But beside that, I would like to do more reading. I haven't been reading for a very long time because of those two. This little one is eight months old and I have just over two years old and they occupied me all day long, all night long. Next one. Oh. What is the next one? What is something you want to stop doing? Hmm. I don't know. I like everything I'm doing. What do you miss most about freedom? I think I miss most about just doing whatever the heck I want. If I want to go out, I'll go out. If I want to talk to someone, I just talk to someone. I don't need to get like extra precautions, like stay six feet away from people or, or just avoiding people in general. So I think that's what I miss the most, that I can be a free person. And I think there is a last question. What's the first thing you are going to do when you get out? I feel like those questions repeat themselves. I will go to a hair dresser and get my kids out of the house, meet their friends, because my two years old definitely miss her friends. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs like if you like the video. Subscribe for more. And I hope I will see you with my next one. Bye.